Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Enterprise Performance Reporting Cloud Service. This is Special Agent Alipat, and today your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to create a report package shell. Here is a summary of your target. A full EPRCS reporting cycle includes three missions. The first mission, covered by this video, involves the creation of the report package shell. After this, docklets, sections, and additional participants are added to the report package. Then the phases are started and completed in sequence. Central Intelligence tells us that the report package shell is the heart and framework of the reporting cycle. The shell includes the template for the entire report package and the phases, due dates, and users at the report package level. The EPRCS technology is so sophisticated that it even offers a handy wizard to help you create the report package shell. This wizard guides you through the three basic steps. First, enter the report package properties. Next, define the process. Finally, assign the phase users. Past agents have tested this wizard and believe it is safe to use. Before we begin, it's important to obtain the necessary security clearance. Agents have infiltrated the network and have informed us that a minimum of reports administrator access will have the authority to complete this task. Let's do some reconnaissance on the report packages area in EPRCS. Once you log into the product, on the home screen you'll see an icon for report packages. When you click on it, you'll see a list of existing report packages. Notice that I've already installed both the samples, one that is word-based and one that is PowerPoint-based. Installing the sample report packages has been vital to helping us understand the protocols required prior to setting up a report package shell for the first time. For this mission, however, we will need to create a brand new report package. Once I click the plus sign to the right, the report package wizard will start. First, we'll enter the properties of the report package shell. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. These properties include the report package name, optional description, report type, style sample, and the EPRCS library location. Special Forces tells us that the report type must be either Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Note that the report type does not limit you to including other types of docklets. It governs the format of the base report package in conjunction with the style sample. The style sample is either a Word or PowerPoint document that you create that contains the master formatting styles that you wish to include in the report package. It gives the entire report package a consistent look and feel. In the case of a Word report type, this includes Word styles, margins, document orientation, footers, headers, and more. In the case of a PowerPoint report type, this includes a slide master with different types of slide designs. The style sample can be modified after the fact, so don't worry if you need to tweak it later. It can also be overridden at the individual docklet level. Next, we'll move on to defining the process. We have unscrambled the secret messages and have discovered that defining the process means deciding which phases to include in this report package. Before we go through each phase, let's talk about some of the intel uncovered regarding the dependencies and rules governing phases. First, you can choose to include as many phases as you want. This means including all three or just one if you so desire. Second, phases cannot overlap. This means that due dates must be sequential within and between phases. Next, the author phase can have none or one or more approvals. An approval means that a docklet must be approved before it can transition to the review phase. Fourth, the review phase must have at least one review cycle, and you can define multiple cycles. For example, you can set the first review cycle for first-line managers, then you can set a second review cycle for upper management. Next, the sign-off phase can have one or multiple signers. And finally, the docklets, docklet authors, and docklet level and section users are not assigned in this step of creating the report package shell. This plan of attack will be strategic during the second mission of the reporting cycle. The first phase we come to is the author phase. If you wish to include the author phase, then click the check mark in the upper left-hand corner of the author phase box. Here you determine a start date, a docklet submission date, which is when docklets must be submitted by, whether or not you want to include any docklet approvals, and an end date. You can include multiple docklet approvals. The next phase is the review phase. If you wish to include the review phase, then click the check mark in the upper left-hand corner of the review phase box. 
Here you determine a start date, the first review cycle end date, which is when the first review cycle must be completed by, whether or not you want to include more review cycles, in this example we have two, and their associated end dates, and a review phase end date. Remember that this phase start date must start after the author phase's end date, if both phases are included. The last phase is the sign-off phase. If you wish to include the sign-off phase, then click the check mark in the upper left-hand corner of the sign-off phase box. This is an easy phase to configure. You choose a start and end date. Remember that the phase start date must start after the previous phase's end date, if more than one phase is included. The final step in creating the report package shell is to commission the other agents. In this step, the only user that's required for assignment is the big boss, otherwise known as the signer. The report package owner by default would be the person setting up this report package shell, although additional report package owners could be assigned. Reviewers assigned here would include folks responsible for the review phase at the report package level. Viewers assigned here would be any users who need read access to the entire report package. If you need someone to view or review one specific doclet, then that user assignment would occur not in this report package shell creation stage, but later when you create and assign the doclets. In order to assign a user to one of the roles, click the person icon with a plus sign at the bottom. You can then search for users within the Select User window. With the exception of the signer responsibility, you can assign either a user or a group to the role. When you're done assigning users, click Finish to complete the Report Package Shell. Now you can view this Report Package Shell in the Report Center. You can tell if this Report Package is just a shell, as there are no docklets visible in the list here. The due dates, individual phase statuses, and overall reporting cycle status can be viewed at the top. If you need to make changes to the report package properties, such as updating the style sample or phase due dates, you can choose to edit report package properties through the actions menu here. Note that you can edit the report package properties even after you've formally started the phases. When you click the report packages icon in the home screen, you'll receive final confirmation that the mission has succeeded. Mission complete. This message will self-destruct in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.